This is a new single channel emulation uh, project. It's a complete system, but it doesn't use commercial RC modules like uh, Frisky or Orange or all the ones that we're used to using. Um, this uses the NRF24 modules that you buy from eBay really cheaply. Um, or for the receiver it uses the RF Nano, which is the same thing, an, uh, an Arduino Nano with one of these receivers on board, uh, all integrated, so it's really handy and really cheap as well. These are about three quid each. Um, for the demo I'm using another RF Nano for the transmitter as well but in practice you'd use a high power one to get full range and it is full range, I've tested it um, they work brilliantly well uh, that's just a buzzer there so what we've got, uh, this is rudder elevator throttle we've got one for right, two for left three for kick up and quick lip throttle so that's low throttle, mid, high if I switch off we've got full failsafe. Watch the throttle servo. It's failsafe on all channels and it's presetable so you can put your controls where you like um, and then just either press a link, uh, make a link on the receiver header there or actually you can do it from the transmitter as well. You can uh, press a button on the transmitter and that will set the failsafe to those positions. Uh, what I like about it is you can program it to either have a unique ID so that you don't interfere with your friends or you can program your own gear to have the same ID so I can switch off this single channel transmitter here's my OS I can switch that on and it works exactly the same so I can use that's my OS here's the um, Multiplex Pico So, I can use any of my favourite transmitters with a model, um, and, and it's instant li link up, so you could actually fly a model with Propo, switch off, switch on the single channel transmitter, and the changeover is instant, absolutely instant. Um, besides compound, it also does sequential, I've just dropped a link onto D2 there just to demonstrate. Um, in practice, if you put this on a, um, a DIY more board or something like that, you could have a um, dip switch to select options like this. Uh, but that's now in sequential mode, so the rudder just alternates left and right, like the old um, Elmic Conquest. Pull that link, and we're back to compound again. Um, it has. The amount of movement that's there at the moment is correct for a torque rod. It's about the right angle for a torque rod, the same as an yeah, Elmix escapement. What you can do is this link, pull that, and put a pot on there. So now I can vary the amount of rudder. That's the most. And elevator. So if I hold it on and turn the pot down, I can vary the amount of travel. But normally you wouldn't use that. You'd just have a link on there to give you the fixed travel. Now I don't know if this LED will show on the uh, video, because uh, it's flashing quite rapidly. It flashes at 10 times a second normally. Um, it does a flash every 20 packets, um, so it sends one. The transmitter sends one packet every five milliseconds, um, and this alternates every 10 packets. So it alternates every 50. In other words, a complete flash takes 100 on and off. Uh, so 100 milliseconds is uh, 10 flashes a second. So that's what it spends most of its time doing that. When it resyncs, you might notice a slight change in that pattern, uh, but it's almost instantaneous. If I switch off the transmitter, it lights solidly to indicate failsafe. Uh, right, to demonstrate failsafe, it's easier to um, use a, a proper transmitter. Uh, at the moment, I've got failsafe set to neutral. I'll switch the transmitter off and all the servos are at neutral. If I want to set it to... Right, full throttle is anti-clockwise. If I want to set these 
to the corner of the stick I can just press a button on the transmitter that becomes the new failsafe so when I switch off that should go to full throttle in the corner of the stick settings which it does let's set it back to low throttle and neutral press the button switch off the transmitter well let's open the throttle switch off the and put them somewhere when I switch off it should go to neutral and low throttle there you go so that's setting it from the transmitter you can also set it from the receiver uh, with a link which is uh, where's my link there it is and uh, in the case of the receiver it gives a little jiggle on the servos to show you that the uh, so our failsafe has been set. So if I open the throttle fully, and I want that to be my failsafe, unlikely, but there you go. Quick jiggle to tell you it's been done. And if I close the throttle and switch off, it will go to full throttle. Switch on again. If I want to go to low throttle and the stick in the corner, it's a bit difficult with one hand. There you go. That's set. So now if I neutralise everything and switch off it should go to stick into the corner and low throttle, which it does. I'll put it back to something sensible. Neutral and low throttle. If I switch if I set mid throttle and switch off, it goes to low throttle and neutrals. So that's the failsafe. And again the LED on solid to indicate failsafe. So here's the gear installed in my here, long suffering cub. So we've got one for right, two for left, three for kick up and quick lip throttle. Now at the moment that's rudder is moving in the right direction there, but if it was the wrong way, we can either drop a link. Or flick a dip switch, whatever. So that's one for left now. And similarly, if I move that onto the next one, that should reverse the elevator. So that's kicked down now. So you've got servo reversing. Um, it's got all the other facilities of the seven channel encoder. It's got a flight timer, you know, like a minute minder, uh, to remind you uh, how long you've been flying. It's got an inactivity warning if you leave it switched on by accident. Uh, it's got the VTEL and the Elevon mixers if you were to fly a single channel model with a, uh, a mixer it's unlikely but it's there. Um, all sorts of facilities and uh, as I say th this this is demonstrated on an RF Nano in, in practice you would use one of these high power modules. Oh it also does the... Um, where's my receiver gone? It also does the... Um, my receiver gun. It does the button follower on channel 4 as well, the same as the pick encoder, so I've just plugged my channel indicator thing in there and you'll see that every time I press the button it flips over regardless of what I do with regardless of what I do with the button it just follows. So that would be used for a channel switch and a, a genuine escapement. Not something I would use but it's a, it's a facility that's there if you need it. Uh, I think that's it. That's it. Uh, single channel set, full frequency hop in on 2.4 uh, without using a RC module. Cheers. <laughs>